So vibration tables are used to make concrete more workable while you're putting it into the mold and to get rid of bubbles. We do sell industrial grade vibration tables for large scale productions. The thing is, they might be a little bit too expensive for people just starting off in this industry. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very cheap vibration table that isn't exactly professional grade, but it's better than sitting here and shaking it by hand. So the first thing we're going to need is a vibration motor. We've got a lot of different types of vibration motors on our website. It's cheaper than buying the whole table. The link to this motor is going to be in the description below. We want to bolt that vibration table down to the underside of our table, but instead of using rubber bushings underneath the legs of the table, all this complicated stuff, I'm going to give you a very simple solution. I'm going to attach our vibration table top to an old car tire I found in an abandoned lot. The tire is going to act as both the legs and the rubber bushings for our vibration table to make it the cheapest way possible. But this is going to be the face of our table, so I don't want those bolts to stick up. So I'm going to pre-drill a few holes so that the surface could be flush. So we're gonna put the on off switch inside the tower, the tire, put it on and more or less center it before we start drilling any holes in there. Feels good, we drill some of our holes into the tire. And it's a little bit difficult trying to get these holes big enough, but with enough time, it starts melting away and you get the hole that you need. And every time I'm trying to put these washers and bolts in, they fall back over after I put them down. So I'm just gonna secure them in place with a little bit of clay. We can remove the clay later. The washers are already in too. Otherwise they're not falling out, it's just the, the bolts. Now you could be done with this, but I don't want to. I don't want to leave the wire underneath here. It keeps vibrating, it's gonna get damaged. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the side of the tire. So what we have here is a couple of holes to fit the on off switch through. It gets put in, a hole underneath. And a hole on top for our zip tie and our switch is secured. Now it's time to test it out. This is one of our molds. The link is going to be in the description. Also, um, some release agent to make sure it doesn't stick from the non aerosol sprayer. And let's go ahead and turn it on. So you've made it to the end of my video, but now I wanna ask you for a quick favor. See, the YouTube algorithm gets tricked into showing my video to a lot more people if a lot of people comment on it. So criticize me, praise me, or just ask a question. As long as you leave a comment, I'm gonna appreciate it a lot. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.